Hello and welcome to another Live from the Living Room Gigs. My name is David Barnes, I'm the host of this Twitch channel here and we're going on a little bit earlier than we usually do. Uh, my guest this week is Scully and delighted to have him back with us. Uh, slightly early, we got the times time slightly mixed up. up. You've got to get away for a, a drain uh, before the uh, the time that we would normally go on. So we're going to go on early today, we'll rerun it uh, at the, the usual time. But uh, hello Scully, welcome to... Glad to have you back. Thanks for having me. Thanks for letting me use the guitar as well. <laughs> and no bother at all. Great to have you have you here because you've been away for quite a while, haven't you? A while, eight or nine years. Uh, we've finally got you back over. So uh, let's have a, a song from you right away. And uh, what are you going to play for us? Uh, a song I've never played before. I don't really know all the words to it yet, so I've got them written down in the floor. Uh, it's called Toda Line. live from the living room gigs and we're here with uh, with Scully uh, and uh, it's uh, great to have you back over uh, so that was a uh, brand new song brand new and uh, you're going to be doing quite a few new songs tonight aren't you hopefully because uh, it's been a while since anybody over here has had a chance to hear you play so you've had as, as you say you've been away for about eight or so years oh about eight all in but two since I was back in Scotland uh, so what have you been up to where have you been Lanzarote Crazy rock in the middle of the Atlantic. 
playing in bands, kind of singing solo and making holiday makers dance. <laughs> And you've obviously got uh, got tired of the Scottish weather, which is why you've come back. I'm loving it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it's nice for a change. <laughs> you, you'll not have seen rain in I don't know how long. No, the first time I did, it was, I went out instead in the garden and enjoyed it falling in. <laughs> it doesn't rain very much over there. No, I can't imagine it would. I mean, it did, it was a nightmare because my roof used to leak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no good. Um, it's great to have you back over. Um, so... Uh, for anyone that um, hasn't seen you play, uh, you're one of the used to, well used to be one of the regulars, and will be again at uh, the the acoustic scene down in Ayrshire. Well, I've only popped in once since I've been back, so I need to I need to start going in there. But I started out with you in Butterfields. Uh, that, that wasn't yesterday. <laughs> yeah, twelve years ago. I did it uh, Carl and Mark's nights. Oh, if it wasn't for Carl and Mark, I wouldn't have got to answer it. I don't think half. Half the musicians in Ayrshire would have, would have done anything with it. They kept encouraging me. And bliss. Nah, just never told me it was rubbish and let me get back up and sing, even though I kept breaking strings every week. Ah, you, you took the title of string breaker over for me. I, I, I broke a string once with playing one note, trying to do finger picking <laughs> in your guitar. I tried to pick the first note and it snapped and it was about three seconds before you went on stage. I'd, I'd probably weakened it earlier. And I was, I don't think I had any touch when I was 16. And blit on the strings. <laughs> We've come on a long way since then, haven't we? Bliss has come on leaps and bounds since then. But Butterfields is good. Aye. So, uh, yeah, if uh, anybody watching is in Ayrshire, do check out Acoustic Bliss every Thursday night at the Twa Dugs. Uh, they also uh, are, are live streamers. I think they're over on uh, livestream.com. Mm -hmm. uh, look, live look out for Acoustic Bliss. They're they're. Yeah great people you can get it on youtube as well i think right. i've had, had carol and mark up here for a session before we'll need to get them in again, actually yeah okay. uh so we have a let's get some more music in the go what are you going to play for us yeah, now uh, that sounds a song about a girl i used to know up when i moved up to glasgow uh, it's called the Bar ballad of laura darling uh, it's one of the happiest of songs but it's probably one of my favorites that i wrote i remember this one so. we recorded a version of this one didn't we did we I would do that. Have you not got a recording of that? Probably I'll, I'll, need to, I'll need to send you The amount of stuff of recording Govan Hill we use, it's all just blames into one. <laughs> I'm sure we did a version of this. I'll have to look that up after. Alright, so the ballad of Laura Darling, Robert Scully, take it away. Down by 
girl should never get involved in this And a Catholic girl should never settle herself for a fix Tell me I'm a liar, tell me I'm wrong But we both know that it's been going on too long It's too late to change, it's too late to stop No life, no kids, no man, no home, nothing's all you got When you're living in the Bell Grove Hotel And the Galagay, the Queen of the Cow, and the Goddess in the Scully and the Ballad of Laura Downing here on Live from the Living Room Gigs. And uh, if anybody watching uh, would like to get in touch with the show, please do. Uh, use the, uh, the Twitch chat room. The messages will come up on screen. We'll read them out. And uh, if you want a shout out, let us know. Uh, this is uh, Live from the Living Room Gigs. We do this every Wednesday night. Uh, an hour of uh, live original music showcasing some of the best songwriters across Scotland. And uh, we're here with, with Scully tonight. And uh, we're getting a, a whole load of... Uh, new stuff uh, that you've been uh, writing in the, in the few years that you've been uh, uh, away performing in, in, in Lanzarote. Uh, so uh, you've been away doing doing covers gigs. Covers, it's nice to have you... Only, uh, only covers. Uh, <laughs> nice no much of a market or an appetite for original stuff in Porta del Carmen. But it was great. It was four years all in. I've been out with my mate, us for acoustic duo. We were in Dublin before that and the two of us played got Irish bars and whatever band would have us. Eventually, last six months or so, eight months, just playing in a band, a show band, for cheesy pop tunes that could be like, wham one minute in Shania Twain, then we throw in a couple of cool ones for us, like Echo and the Bunny Men, but... you got to have something to keep you sane, haven't you? got to have one song in there to keep you right. <laughs> no, it was great, loved, loved every second it. It's, ah, you've, you've told you've uh, told me quite a, a bit about uh, what it was like over there. We were, we were chatting before the show went on. It's <laughs> interesting times. It's a low into itself. <laughs> it's just an island where people go for a week or two at a time, and there's no rules. They just they go there to drink and have a good time, and you have nothing to entertain them. So it's never really it's, dull. No, it'd be uh, aye. <laughs> Quite, yeah. uh, never, never a dull moment. Uh, I just never, never want to hear a town funk ever again. <laughs> yeah, you it must drive you mad playing uh, all, the, all the covers all the time. It did, but so it's what pays the bills. So it was good in that aspect, but I miss playing like, on stuff and that open mic nights that you get a lot when about here and even just going to see bands. Ah, uh, you could have a bit of both, haven't you? Like, even you like see you posting stuff, got to see such and such. Uh, this is on the night, or even just about bands coming into her. Oh, you know, I would miss it a lot. And did, did, did you get much of that over there, was it, or was it all no, just covers bands? No, there was a festival last year that I couldn't get to, and the Fratellis were in it. Uh, it was in the Volcanoes, uh, but I couldn't go because I was playing, it playing Ed Sheeran songs and George Ezra. That's, that's the thing, I mean, have to, you, most, most musicians I know would love to get to more gigs, but we're, we're constantly on, on the road ourselves. Was no, it was, it was like Spanish. You could go and see like Spanish bands and all that, but didn't really know what they were singing. <laughs> how, how, how did your, your Spanish come on whilst you were over there? Ah, no bueno. No good. <laughs> it should be a lot better for what it was for somebody that lived there for four years. Terrible. I suppose but it got a bit better when uh, I joined the band because the bass player was Spanish and he had, he had big trouble understanding me. Ah, the, 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 the drummer was from Glasgow, but uh, 
he could not understand what I said to him. So I had to, it was easier for me to speak to him in pidgin Spanish and for him to try and understand what I was saying to him in English. The Ayrshire accent's a lot into itself, isn't it? And it was fine, fine with the Glasgow accent, <laughs> but the, the Ayrshire was... Uh, you just see a kind of blank look come across his face and a nod and smile. And it was like, oh, he doesn't know what I said to him. Yeah. I've, I've seen that a couple of times in the chat room as well, when, when like people from out, outside of Scotland have tuned in. It's like, what are you saying? I can't understand what you're saying. Or was it, it was even like audiences in between songs. <laughs> Even before, it was like, somebody think it was Dutch and somebody think it was German. It was in between songs, yeah. trying to talk to the crowd and get a laugh, and it's like, just nothing coming back. You actually hear the tumbleweeds and see them. <laughs> oh, God. Mind you, you could be playing to a lot of drunk Brits abroad that uh, even if even if you'd been speaking perfect Queen's English, the, the state they were in. Ah, that was my that was me. That's been me for the last four years. <laughs> Pit for the Queen's English part, but I can see why you'd want to come Brits back abroad. eventually. <laughs> Never say never. <laughs> Come back and play to a relatively sober audience. For no, no, sober audiences aren't as fun, though. You need, you need your audience to a wee bit listened up. A wee bit, aye. But no, that, that, that a lot of... But you're coming back to play Glasgow, you're not going to play to a sober audience. No. <laughs> they went there on holiday for Glasgow to get more and more drunk. <laughs> so if I can handle them there, I can handle them back Anywhere. here. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll grow up, we'll learn to play live playing in Glasgow and air, so you uh, yeah, can handle you the audiences, there, you can aye. handle anywhere. Aye, if you can if you can cope with anything that you'll get you know, like, like some of the stories that we've we've had with the like the, the Vicky Bar audience as well, in fact or um There were some stories Patrick I've talked about that cannot get put on Twitch. Sorry sorry Twitch audiences you uh we, we we'd set this channel up to be family friendly so you're not gonna hear some of these stories. It's because you started early the night we can't get the <laughs> We kind of get the whiskey or stuff at the road. Well, well before the watershed. <laughs> do you do that acoustic version of Cedric Atlantico? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember recording this for you. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Central Atlantico is a place in Lanzarote where there's all the nightclubs. And if you like, you can have Chris Brown and Rihanna. You can go there and dance all night till like seven in the morning. And then and, forget. And you did. A couple of times, <laughs> not not many. <laughs> That's a lie, but is that I know, a, I've a never lie. played this acoustic before. Well, here's, a, here's a challenge for you. I know it's not exactly Nirvana unplugged, but we'll get a go. <laughs> See what happens. Hope I remember the words. Secret smile and your boys 
disengage, no one still drives me wild. It's where the right boys meet the easy girls, and we're central bound. We're gonna leave the world behind. Leave the world behind. We're gonna central. Control for the Manolos. Central article. Uh, you give me some bad memories uh, there, Dave. Make me play that. Uh, sorry to bring back. Yeah. <laughs> Get on, bud. <laughs> it's looking at this. It has yeah. to be experienced to be to know what Central is. Your hedonism nights are long behind you now that you're back in Glasgow. <laughs> Sorta. Too old for it now. Uh, I can't stay up to seven in the morning. Seven in the morning? No, I. No, I couldn't do that. No, that's just when they close. Then what somebody else is after it. And then go and entertain the tourists at night time. You're mad. Used to be. That's why I'm <laughs> back here. Uh, time to back here for the quiet life. Back to Glasgow <laughs> for some peace and quiet. That says a lot. It really <laughs> does. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, live from the living room gigs, and uh, here with Robert Scully, the guest artist this week. Uh, anyone watching, if you want to get in touch with us, please do leave us a wee message in the chat room that will uh, pop up on the screen there. If you want to say hi. Please do, and um, yeah, what, what should we have next? Far enough, reading, leading into a song that spawns for a central night. <laughs> it's almost as if we planned this. <laughs> we didn't, really. We never... If it was up to me, I'd plan to never think of the place again. These shows are never planned. But, uh, Point the camera at the guests and see what happens. This is a song... Made a bit of kind of going to and afterwards a central and seeing somebody and it's called honey you're giving me ideas so central gives everybody ideas Thank you. 
day I might ask your name To let down the road that I didn't know Took you off of the strip I wasn't ready for what hit me next But you left me sleeping on the floor Of the flat I didn't know When I woke you couldn't see Anything that belonged to me Even when it is what you are You're giving me ideas. Robert Scully in here for Live from the Living Room Gigs. This is our uh, guest artist session that we do every Wednesday night where we get uh, an hour of uh, completely original, brand new music from some of the best artists around in Scotland at the moment. And uh, Scully is our guest artist this week. And uh, if people are enjoying the uh, the music, where can we find you on, uh, you on Facebook? Uh, SoundCloud uh, for in uh, music, can I ask? The uh, gondola name, the brothel band. That's going to take some explaining. I will. There's been a constant theme of the travelling. There's been kind of ladies of the night seem to be everywhere. Not that I was a customer or anything. But a mere observer of the mere, scene. Mere observer. And I was in living in Dublin for a while and was playing with my mate and we were doing gigs and that. We needed a new flatmate. And this Latvian girl turned up and basically just made it her house. And we did, we were kind of, I was kind of fear for her, so I'd just let her move in. But she turned out to be a lady of the night. And me and Bosco in a band and we started, but that would be a good, good name for a song. And then we moved to Lanzarote in the square where I was living. There was like four brothels actually in it. So... You, you picked that only made sense, but, don't you? but the song was written before we moved over there and knew all about that. It was a kind of happy accident, and it's clear, clearly meant to be. That's what I've written in the stars, man. <laughs> uh, no, I, was, I kind of have to play the song now, didn't I? Uh, I, I think so, yeah. My mum really likes this song for some reason. <laughs> 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 Listen, uh, of all the songs the, that I'd expect my mum to I... like. And it's got a line in it about not telling your mum what you did, doesn't it? Uh, it does. <laughs> but, and then here's me on the internet telling the whole internet and it'll be there forever. Yep. I just like to make it clear that I've never once went to the lassies. I was never a customer. <laughs> so here we go. I'm a guitar player in a brothel band. See the blinding 
everybody goes And I get paid in here for singing I get paid to make all the girls dance But I don't know what I was thinking I'm the guitar player and a brothel band don't tell my mother cause she thinks I'm away at work and for my cash She doesn't know that every night I'm in here getting gassed One of which you say if she ever knew what it is I really do Cause I'm a guitar player and a pro band I see people paying money then a bot can lead them up the stairs And I see folk leave in a hurry Hoping no one sees that they were there And I watch the dancers when we're working I watch them go spinning round and round Every desperado in the crowd But don't tell my mother cause she thinks I'm away at what can find my cash She doesn't know that every night I'm in here getting gas Wonder what you say if she ever knew what it is I really do I'm a guitar player and a brothel Some say to do it for the money Some just like been laden on their backs and They have names like Angel and Honey They're the biggest fans of my brothel band Crystal seems to make the most here Candy seems to hate it all the same I don't know I have my doubts here Cause I don't think that is their real names Don't tell my mother cause she thinks I'm away at work and for my cash She doesn't know that every night I'm in here getting gas. Wondering what you say if she ever knew what it is I really do I'm a guitar player and a brothel band 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 That's almost for you, Mum. There we go. <laughs> So that, I put the link up on uh, on the screen there if any viewers would like to to check Scully's uh, original music out there, soundcloud.com slash the brothel band. And uh, that was, of course, the eponymous song itself there, a guitar player in a brothel band. I didn't know whether I could name the band after a song, but Sabbath done it. Look at yeah, us, Sabbath, have done that. Sabbath. And I thought, well, why not? If bands name albums after the name of a band, you can name a song name after a song, right? yeah. Uh, I was had a wee look at the. Uh, what other songs could What band? other songs could you get in with bands? Bands with song names. I'm, I'm trying to think there, and I'm I'm drawing a blank. You put what, me on the spot here. What would pulp write? What would the pulp version be? A pulp song called Pulp. Pressure squeezed. It... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'd be some kind of sleazy pulp fiction type thing, wouldn't it? Well, I must say a lot of pulp lately. Aye. Thank you. Get Anthony. back into that. There's a song, come on, shuffle the other night there, it was like, like a friend. And I've been spending all week trying to rip it off. <laughs> this is your songwriting process, isn't it? Basically, <laughs> I, I steal other folk songs and try to change them a wee bit so that they don't sound too much. Change them until they're something of yours. I was planning and saying, like, introducing the songs and letting the people know that I stole them. But I stole the riff here. Let's not call it stole, let's call it, it in, inspired by... 
Ah, oh, they could get jail time for stealing songs and riffs. I'd be in a life sentence. Ah, so would we all. What, what Talent would models, genius steals. What would musicians do without other musicians to to be inspired by? Would they? I'd be crying. I'd still be living in the fifties. Aye. I don't want that. Um, I was on on the uh, the SoundCloud uh, there, and I, I did notice we've got uh, a few songs up there from your your previous life. Uh, before the brothel bands and the blue lips, uh, are they up there? I think so. I think White Russian was up there. Well, I've not heard that for ages. <laughs> I didn't even know that was on. I think I think I, it's tell, there, I knew we had a MySpace, but I think the MySpace deleted everybody's music and it's been taken uh, you're, off. You're really going back there, aren't you? MySpace. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. Uh, we'll be hitting up the Bebo pages next. <laughs> How many Bebo loves have you got? Oh, uh, I have no idea. I don't must, know. must be a few. I, I, White, White Russian's on the, the brothel band sound Oh no, that's, I've done a version of White Russian in uh, Spain, just sort of, kind of demo thing messing about, but I don't think the Blue Lips had one. But I was a band previously called the Blue Lips, and we recorded just along the road. I in just, your uh, other house. A few doors down in Calder Street. This is like my musical is... home in Glasgow then, isn't it? Pretty much. This is where my Glasgow adventure started. No, it's I've... the first night I moved up, I slept on your couch. <laughs> first two nights, even. Crashing then we had the open mic nights and get uh, merry. I've got fond memories of uh, of doing that session. So it was just uh, five of us crammed into a tiny, tiny room, smaller than this room, and uh, trying to trying to set up with a, a drum kit in one corner. I think the, the picture you used at the start of the thing, I think that picture was actually from that, from that session. session. I... And thank you for using a ten-year-old photo. Well, you've you've been uh, you've been away for so long. I don't have any recent photos of you. I try, I try to stay off. Are you any face face on to like software or that to pixelate me? That me luck. Run for the lands of the mafia. <laughs> um, what are we going to play next? I don't know, what should we do? I don't know. You're the one with the song list in front of you. I know, but I tend to turn up with a list and don't stick to it. I've noticed that. It just tends to go out the window. I'm going to do a cover, actually. All right. I don't know, and then go into a couple of new ones. So something that's uh, inspired you? Something that inspired me. He's a bit of a kind of funny character. And, and uh, what song did you steal this from? Oh, no, this is his. I, what, what song did you turn it into? I don't know. Probably all of them. I'll be in there somewhere. I'll be in there somewhere. But it's Zombie Morrissey. He's a we we're all we all know Morrissey. He's went a bit off rails. Let, let's remember him in the in the good old days. Well, here we go. It's for eighty nine before he went all a bit you kippy. Yeah. So it's a song called Sister I'm a Poet. Oh, that's that's quite hipster on it's an obscure B side. <laughs> no Right, I didn't need to rip it off, I wrote this. This is my <laughs> song. Bag, strangled that traffic light 
life once was me That's cause I'm a sister I'm a all over this town All over this town All over this town All over this town Now that's giving me flashbacks to when we first started jamming at Butterfield so you doing the Smiths, me doing R.E.M. that all the all the jangly guitar you could possibly want. That's how I started talking to you, because you had an REM jacket. Aye. You had a tail jacket. I still got it, so... And I didn't, I didn't know anybody else in there, and I didn't want anybody else to know that I was only 16. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I was starting to talk to this big with the REM t-shirt, I've got something to talk about, and I'll not get thrown out, so it looks as if I'm mates. You were sneaking into Butterfields when you should have been. Oh, wasn't he? <laughs> if any, anybody watching you didn't hear that. It's long gone anyway. <laughs> You're just about legal now. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> I've been hanging up at Butterfields a lot lately. Aye. I'm the Hungarian guy. I was trying to think of his name, but I can't. Oh, you got me stumped now. Because I was thinking of all the people through, because funnily how you leaflet, I don't know if they bless it, it was like a Christmas party, and I was thinking of all the people that were there. And there's, well, there's a lot of them that don't go. Aye, well, there's a lot, a lot of people there. that have come through the doors of Acoustic Bliss over the years. That, um, Moira put up a post on the Bliss Facebook page that they just passed their 800th player. I was there, I was, I was, that was, was my first night back at Bliss, I was, back, uh, I see Sam, I think it was up here, but they must have been more than 800. That's at least 800. It might is, be 800 in the, the two dogs, but they've got a lot more than 800 people, surely. I don't know when they started keeping a record of everybody that had played at, uh, I hope I never kept a record to some of the stuff I do. <laughs> I remember doing a terrible... Because like, I'd never sang in front of MD before I uh, went to Butterfields. I thought you could just play guitar. But I'd, uh, there was one week I thought I'd get brave and try to do a stereophonic song. And it was... It was like a 14-year-old's voice breaking. And there was like, this big high note in every chorus. And every time I went for it, it just got worse and worse. And I was like, oh, no, no. But oh, we've, we've it, you, there, need to, you? I think you need to, you need to go playing, through that. Aye. It's like vein yourself back in a bit and at least practice a song before you go and sing it. Aye, it's, it's, uh, it's great for finding out what you can and can't do, isn't it? But that's, Cutting your teeth in the it's going to like sink that. or swim, throw yourself in at the deep end and see how you go. Aye, and then you realise that even if it does go wrong, you can still come back and do it again next time. So long as you start a song good and finish it all right, nobody really remembers the middle. Aye. Unless you'll get like six horrible notes that just can't be fixed in You've my case. You've got to go really, really badly wrong, so, especially if it's a, like a bad Oh no, this was like Oasis at Glastonbury wrong. This was terrible. Oh. I still, whenever I've, I've like a quiet gig, I'll like play into Nebda, I'll always, well at least you're no singing like that. <laughs> Eventually no. I'd learn how to sing the song. So. Well, I, I must have been there and I can't remember you doing it, so obviously the, the bad gigs have been wiped from my mind and just remember the good ones. I'll just keep it that way. Aye. I wish I could. <laughs> I've got, I've, got, I've got plenty of memories of nights in, in Butterfields and other places where it's gone horribly wrong. I don't, was, you tend to remember the bad ones well and the good ones. Aye. Oh, it's, it's so bad for that. You know. it's, and it's, especially, I find as well, when I'm when I'm busking, it's so much easier to remember the, the Ned's and your hassle than the nice people that are putting money in. It's, it's, why, why are our brains built to fixate on the negative? I'm one of the busking stories, right? What's your worst? Worst busking story. Oh, I'm I'm just trying to narrow it down at the moment because there's there's so so many that I could. Uh, right, could this pick week. From. We'll narrow it down. What's your worst one this week? Worst one. Worst one this week would probably be uh, the guy that's I, either the guy that started singing sectarian songs over Johnny Cash, or the guy that put a twenty pound note into my hand. <laughs> started off good. Then he downed a bottle of whiskey, passed out, woke up, and started swearing his head off me, telling me he was the worst. That I was the worst I'd ever seen. After having told me I was brilliant and giving me twenty quid. That's a whiskey talking. That's a whiskey talk. That's that's Glasgow Ned's talking. I had somebody put in. Uh, I had, I was, uh, when I was in Australia, put in twenty dollars and then take fifteen out because they wanted to give me a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's embarrassing when they go to get changed, no. isn't it? <laughs> 
that's not how it works. I was thinking, lovely. <laughs> Might as well go out the night because it's, it's $10 a pint over there. And I was like, thought you were there's, there's yeah. some free drink money. But then I took the change back. I was, <laughs> You've left me with a fiver. You're still you're I mean, happy with a fiver if, if you get it. If you just come along and put in a fiver, you'd be thinking that's brilliant. He obviously never had any at small than a twenty, but <laughs> that, was, that was that was a bit of a kick in the teeth. Ah, <laughs> you like, think you're you're really getting something. Especially when you're mid song, you can't really stop. You can't the, really say anything then, can you? You just got to let him walk away with your change. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that bit the worst you've had? Australia was a bit crazy for busking. I had I was kind of war with a bagpipe playing penguin. That's a sentence you don't get to say every day, is no, it? No, he made an absolute bomb and he wouldn't have moved. There was kind of rules. You had to have permits and licences. But he used to stand at the same spot for like four hours and then he'd change into a, he had like another fancy dress costume. He must have been roasting anyway. I'm but glad he, you said it was fancy dress. And actually, actually, I don't know. It might have been more impressive if it had been an actual bagpipe playing penguin. I'd have given him money. Oh, I'd be terrified my six foot penguin. But... <laughs> uh, no, I used to change, I think it was, I don't know if he thought that if he changed his fancy dress, then other people might think it was a bag, different Probably bagpipe. Different. But he only knew three songs. He could only play three songs of the bagpipe. And I remember one of them was Scotland the Brave. And it was, you could hear him, you could hear him for miles away. And six hours, seven hours, he would just stand there all day in the best, one of the best spots in the city and rake it in because he, he dressed like a penguin. <laughs> so me and him were, Scotland the Brave, you know, as far from Scotland as it's possible to be. I don't even know how you get a bag, set of bagpipes in Melbourne, but you go you go all that way and you're getting a, a, a taste of your homeland and you're complaining. The, the, the first couple of times I seen him and it did, it was like, oh, I'm kind of homesick. That's quite nice. But then it started to busking and it was like, oh no, aye, it's on penguin. Yeah, that's a, it's a different story then. Completely different to the Morgan Freeman penguins. No, I don't know. Dublin was fairly crazy for busking. I've never been over today. That's oh, fantastic. See for music, music and art, but busking is a bit. And I can imagine after the, su- the success of once, everyone's trying to get a spot in Grafton. Oh, Street. everybody just wants that Glen Hansel chip. Aye. But I never, gra- I never bust in Grafton Street. I used to busk in the north side, which probably kind of didn't they help why I get into. Well, I've got, some, I've got so many stories about it, but I wouldn't have these stories in the south side. And no one, no one would pay pay you money in Grafton Street. They've like twenty folk running about you, videoing you for three songs, and then go away. But you, you sing one U two song or like something Irish, something hot mind chuck in a fiver. So they're very generous for busking if you know what I like. If you know, know the tunes that they're looking I get, for. I get punched for two euro one day. Just started, went up to a new spot, and I was kind of leaning on a ball out singing away, and just got a crack. Oh. And I was, so I'm kind of half the ball and I only had two euro in because I'd only done like a couple of songs and I was like this isn't worth it no just seen the tracksuit running away and I was like time to go up the road oh dear and you but these are the things that make you a musician <laughs> they toughen you up <laughs> they do that aye if you, if you can cope with with these kind of crowds you can deal with anything so if you if you play football you can <laughs> if you play the Herschel Juniors or Ace Amateur you can handle yourself if you play open mics or busk as a <laughs> musician you can play anywhere. That's that's like the equivalent of playing an Ayrshire Derby. You know you're going to get knocked about a bit. It's character building. <laughs> it's something anyway. Something. If you can come up, come away with a, at least most of your bones still intact and a few good stories. Yeah. That was probably the best time for when I've been away playing music because it would mean like hey, Bosco. Shout out to Bosco if you're watching. Is uh, we had the we had two different band names and we've now settled on the brothel band, but the first one was Smoking Mojo Pitchfork Ravers. Catchy, eh? It catchy, but it's kind of you can't really fit it easily on a poster. No, not really. Uh, he's Bob Bosco's the other member of the brothel band. He's just a couple of hundred miles away. I mean, it's not that convenient for practice, is it? Not particularly. But shout out to Bosco. Shout huh? out to Bosco. Hope you're watching. Oh, if you're out there, give us a wee shout in the in the chat, by the way. I don't know what he'll be up to. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes it's better not just to ask what me and him are doing. Best not to know. You're alive, come on. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Weekend, weekends can get a bit dodgy in WhatsApp. <laughs> Pictures flying about for adventures. And I've had so we... leads on to this. I wrote a song about them. Oh, yeah. It's uh, called Bonnie and Clyde. And it's basically me and him travelling the world and playing music and. Trying to stay alive. More or less. 
<laughs> try to get rent paid when you've spent all the rent money and booze the night before and you get a landlord phone in you. <laughs> uh, it's called Bonnie and Clyde anyway. Alright, here we go. I see shake beneath your clothes I can't stop wandering But I'm alone when you come with me Take me higher than I've ever been Cause I have one foot out the door When you have reached from me I'll get a gun We'll steal a car And we can drive And make a start on the west Where I can kill, steal, and die for happiness If anyone gets in our way I'll do something on regret You could be Bonnie, I could be Clyde And they're gonna take us tonight Bonnie, I could be Clyde, but never gonna take his life. Well, there's no sorrow in my soul when you're standing by my side. We could shoot away out of anything, they're never gonna take his life. So going down, war in the street. They're giving chase, hard on our feet, but that's okay. We can mess up here into the night. By the time they know we're here, we'll be long out of sight. You could be on the could be climbing, they're gonna take us alive. You could be on the could be Live, gonna take his life. Well, there's no sorrow in my soul when you're standing by my side. We could shoot away out of anything, then they're gonna take us alive. We shot on one because I forgot how to play the solo. <laughs> <laughs> And then that's for Bosco. I just realised that sounds like a love song. And it wasn't really meant to be that. But there we go. I love you anyway, Bosco. Fantastic stuff. So this is live from the Living Room Gigs. We're just coming up to the end of today's live stream with uh, guest artist Scully. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to, to see you. Great to hear you yeah, playing again. Thanks for having me. And um, yeah, if you've been enjoying the show today, uh, there's a couple of things that you can do to support us. Uh, keep the streams going. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you can uh, give us a wee follow. Uh, that will keep you up to date of every time we go live. We do this every Wednesday night with uh, different guest artists in session, bringing you some fantastic original songwriters uh, and some great new music from across Scotland. So uh, if you haven't already, please follow the channel. And uh, if you'd like to help uh, support, there's a couple of things you can do. We've got a, a Patreon page. I'm just going to put the link up. And that's uh, patreon.com slash... Uh, David Burns, where you can uh, help to support the show, uh, or you can subscribe here on uh, on Twitch. Everything that comes in helps uh, keep the show running, helps keep the rent paid, keeps the mortgage paid. Uh, so uh, if, if if you'd like to to help out, that would be uh, that would be awesome. Um, and, uh, musicians are struggling all over the planet. I can uh, testify to that. Uh, I'll put up a wee uh, a wee shout out to uh, all subscribers uh, at the end of uh, of the show. But uh, we've got one. Time for one more, just to finish Time things off. Time for one more. Right. Might as well do an oldie. Used to open the blue lips, used to open the set for us, I think. I think this was the set opener. Oh, this will be a blast from the past. Uh, it is a blast for the past. Haven't heard the blue lips in quite mm -hmm. a while. Oh, it's lower. I've no get, I've no get a high voice anywhere, so... The older I'm getting, the songs are having to get... Capos, Capos changing <laughs> keys and... So here we go.
Last part drowns down to a close The demise of your life will never go on no. That lie of first degree Not much more you fail to make me see Your luck's going up, mine's going down I think I might need you to help turn it in your mind Resurrected symphonies I favor little thought you never want me to be Get on, get off, get on, get on your way cause you need to be the love of my soul you need to take It's time to make sense yourself, just open up your heart, can't do anything else. Bad lie on first degree, nothing you can do but say to rival me. My words move around here very fast, so bad talk quick, these might be my Fantastic stuff. Uh, this is uh, live from the Living Room Gigs songwriter session and uh, we've been here with Robert Scullion today. Uh, we're just coming up to the end of our hour so thank you to everyone who's tuned in and uh, thank you most of all to, to Scully for coming in and playing for us today. Thanks to you man. thank you for having me. A pleasure to see you again. Uh, so please do check out uh, Scully's music at soundcloud.com slash the brothel band. It's a ridiculous name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back uh, next Wednesday. Uh, thank you uh, to everyone who's tuned in and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Take care and goodbye.